And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we had rainfall at times, cloud cover, sunshine, but overall this past weekend was a warm one to say the least with temperatures reaching the upper 70s, low 80s and that mild the air mass will continue to stick around at least through this afternoon, this morning, already seeing temperatures in the upper 60s. It's 68 degrees right now. Winds are from the south southwest, three miles per hour. That humidity, 90% at this time. You can certainly feel it as you step out the door this morning. Scattered cloud cover sticking around at this hour as well. Temperatures at 70 degrees in Rossville, as well as Kokomo, Crawfordsville, 68 degrees stepping out the door in Fowler. So we are tracking an inbound cold front that may bring chances of rainfall back to the viewing areas early as this afternoon. Afternoon, maybe even a couple light showers this morning for the far southern portion of the viewing area. However, we're also looking at a cooler, drier air mass moving back or in, back into the region. That could lead to a much nicer forecast going ahead. Your Precision 18 radar, we did see a few light rain showers across the far southern portion of the viewing area over the last hour or so for the most part. However, now we remain dry. You see on our Precision Tracker radar, just some light scattered cloud cover lingering around the region. But that cold front remaining just off to the west of us and more importantly, Importantly, a round of low pressure over parts of Minnesota, the Dakotas this morning. That low pressure will spin northeastward throughout the day. As it occurs, the cold front off to the southwest of us, rolling eastward as well. And as that occurs, that cold front moves in, brings chances of light rainfall, maybe a thunderstorm or two later on this afternoon, and in turn, much cooler conditions as well. There's your cold front just off to our northwest, passing across the viewing area by the afternoon hours between 3 to 5 p.m. Couple light pop up showers, maybe a storm or two. That cold front passes later on this evening, drying conditions across the region, cooling temperatures off as well. In fact, after reaching temperatures in the mid to low 80s later on this afternoon, 82 in West Lafayette, we'll at 82 as well. Frankfurt, 83 degrees in Logansport later on today. Temperatures are expected to fall back down to the upper. 40s and low 50s. 50 degrees here in Lafayette. Certainly clearer and cooler. Winds from the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. With that cold front dragging off to the east of us, higher pressure begins to build in from the Great Plains. That will clear up much of that cloud cover throughout much of the Great Plains. The Midwest, we're looking at clear skies tomorrow. Northerly winds as well. And that's going to help drive those temperatures back down into the mid to low 60s tomorrow afternoon. About a 20 degree dip difference in temperatures between this afternoon and tomorrow. 63 or high temperature in West Lafayette will only reach 59 degrees in Winnemac for tomorrow afternoon. We bounce back up to around 62 on Wednesday. Now notice the light rain chances come Wednesday afternoon. We'll be tracking a round of low pressure likely making its way across the far southern part of the state. That could bring sporadic rain chances to the viewing areas early as Wednesday afternoon. However, it looks like in the recent forecast models, a lot of those rain chances are beginning to fall apart. So that's certainly a situation that could lead to even dry conditions come Wednesday. Keep an eye on that. Thursday, 67. Now we get underway for race weekend, Alex. 72 sunny on Friday. You can't beat it. Saturday, 75. A little bit warmer, obviously, in Indianapolis come Saturday. Sunday, however, Tracking a cold front that will move across the entire state of Indiana, bringing chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms, and maybe even the potential of severe weather on race day. Now that's a situation we're going to keep our eyes on as well, because we could be talking about that chance of severe weather pushing race day to Monday afternoon. But we'll see what happens with that. Still plenty of time uh, to talk more about that. But at least we do have a pretty nice forecast going ahead. Yeah, and as for the beginning of this week, that big cool down, I'm one of those people that doesn't mind that little touch of summer, that little heat. Unfortunately, oh, not. didn't come with a lot of sunshine, though, this weekend. Very cloudy this Yeah, weekend. a lot of that cloud cover stuck around. We had that low pressure system off to the west of us, the warm front moving to the north. And with the warm front to the north of us, that means a lot of moisture, a lot of heat, and that created a lot of that cumulus cloud cover, obscuring a lot of the sunshine uh, that we could have been seeing this past weekend. Now, the good news is that once that cold front passes off to these tomorrow, looking absolutely gorgeous, a little bit cooler than maybe you'd like to see. Yeah, that's right. Thank yeah. you, Cam. Coming up.